Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. This is Misha, and she can't decide if she wants to cuddle or stand on my desk in front of my computer screen. Today we're gonna talk about eight see. Today we're gonna talk about eight cast in legacy and add a sideboard against the top ten most popular decks in legacy. I still can't see Misha. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it. So this is my eight cast deck. Um, I did a deck tech for it that was posted yesterday. If you're interested in that, you should check it out. Otherwise, we are just going to uh, jump into how to sideboard against top 10 most popular decks. So the first and 10th most popular deck in Legacy are Is It Delver and Teamer Delver, respectively. So you sideboard against both of them the same way. Um, so I'm going to uh, just, just kind of show that together. So we're bringing in Plague Engineer. It's really good against Delver of Secrets, really good against DRC. Um, just ha It's kind of a must answer and neutralizes two of their threats. Um, some of the Teamer lists are still playing DRC as well um so so playing something like plague engineer you know allows us to neutralize threats is a is a must answer and and having must answers in a deck full of must answers is very very strong um dismember is very good it can kill everything in their deck besides a super large merc tide but frankly like very often they are going to be casting uh not necessarily eight eight or seven seven merc tides and then we are going to be bringing in a soul guide lantern mostly because it's important to control our opponent's graveyard because of DRC and Murktide, but also like it allows us to draw a card if we really need to draw a card off of like a Nurse of Saga trigger. Aether Spell Bond is also fine, but mostly because we have too many cards in our main deck that we really need to side out. Um, specifically, those cards are Force of Will. I'm not a big fan of Force of Will against Delver. Um, we can grind with Delver very, very easily, and so I'm looking to do that. And when we two for one ourselves with Force of Will, especially since there's no specific card that we are terribly afraid of against Delver, that can hurt the grinding. And Pithy Needle, because there's no activated abilities we're actually afraid of. So that's how you sideboard against Is It Delver and Teamer Delver. The second most popular deck in Legacy at the moment is Cephalid Breakfast. Against Cephalid Breakfast, we are bringing in Force of Negations. Again, to interrupt the combo. Tormod's Crypt to interrupt the combo. Grafdigger's Cage to interrupt the end of that combo. Torpor Orb, which makes it so the Merfolk is unable to actually do the thing. And Soul Guide Lantern, again, to continue to threaten the graveyard and control the combo when they actually attempt to do it. So really, this sideboard is, is mostly just stopping them from comboing. They are a super dedicated combo deck. And if we stop them from comboing, it's okay if we take out uh, a few cards that might be good and, and, and might help us kill our opponents. Because stopping the combo is the most important thing, period. So first off, we're taking out Shadow Spear. It's only to augment the constructs anyway. So Shaven Slaughter Spear is totally fine. Aether Spellbomb, Shaven is totally fine. Uh, when There are no cards we really care about returning. It doesn't actually interrupt the combo. Uh, we're going to shave a Psy. Psy is always fine to shave. Um, we're going to shave a Mox Opal one. The first Mox Opal is always fine to shave. Um, and then we're going to cut four Urza's Bobbles. Oh, sorry. We, we cut both Psy. 100% my bad. Um, and then the rest of the deck is like totally fine. We kind of nickel and dime them and outvalue them with Emery, uh, kill with Kappa Cannoneer, and like Thought Monitor. And so this is how we sideboard against Cephalid Breakfast. The third most popular deck in Legacy at the moment is Reanimator. We're going to be treating Reanimator similar to Cephalid Breakfast, where stopping the combo is the most important thing. So we're bringing in four Force of Negation. We are bringing in the Grafdigger's Cage. We're bringing in the Tormod's Crypts and the Soul Guide Lantern. Bringing out Pithy Needle because the only thing you could really say is like Grizzle Brand, <laughs> and that's not very good. <laughs> bringing out Aether Spell Bomb. We're bringing out a Shadow Spear. Again, similar, super similar to Cephalid Breakfast. We're bringing out two Psy. We're bringing out a Mox Opal. And then we're bringing out a small handful of Urza's Bobbles. And this is how you sideboard against Reanimator. The fourth most popular deck is the Mirror Match, is 8-Cast. Against Ace-Cast, we are bringing in Dismember so that we can deal with our opponent's threats, specifically Kappa Cannoneer, Psy, and Emery. We are bringing in Haywire Might. There's not a lot of artifacts we really care about destroying other than maybe Shadow Spear, but Haywire Might can take out Urza Saga, which is excellent. And we are bringing in a Hercules Recall. Returning the Kappa Cannoneer is very strong. Returning the Constructs is very strong. All, the, all very, very powerful. Uh, bringing out Chalice of the Void. Chalice of the Void does nothing against this deck to speak of. And then we're bringing out one Force of Will because we're looking to grind. We're looking to outvalue. Um, and again, the Force of Will two for one can end up being pretty bad, but is pretty okay, you know, especially since there's some really important cards for us to uh, Force of Will. And so this is how we sideboard it casts. The fifth most popular deck in Legacy is Painter. Against Painter, we are bringing in Haywire Might. We are bringing in our Dismembers. Again, this they play on a lot of creatures, be able to interrupt the combo, be able to deal with the artifacts with Haywire Might. Hercules Recall, again, for, for the artifact issue. 
Uh, we're bringing in Tormod's Crypt to uh, interrupt like Goblin Welder and things because that's how they get Grindstone on the battlefield most of the time is through the Goblin Welder. So controlling the graveyard is also super important, which is why we're also going to be bringing in Soul Guide Lantern. Uh, bringing out Chalice of the Void because similar with 8 casts, uh, Chalice of the Void does nothing against Painter. Uh, bringing out Aether Spell Bomb. Everything has Enter the Battlefield effects. We don't really care about returning anything. Like, it's kind of cute to return Painter in response to the Grindstone, but that doesn't actually solve anything. We're bringing a, out a Mox Opal, and then we're bringing out two Urza's Bobbles. And so that's how we sideboard against Painter. The sixth most popular deck in Legacy is Death Shadow. Against Death Shadow, we are bringing in Dismembers to deal with their threats because they are a tempo deck. We are bringing in Soul Guide Lantern, mostly because, uh, you know, Soul Guide Lantern being able to control the graveyard is, you know, powerful when they're playing Merc Tides and sometimes uh, DRCs. But also, it's mostly because we just have to take out a bunch of something. We're going to bring out three Force of Will because we kind of treat this like Delver. We're trying to outvalue our opponent. And we and we Pithy Needle does actually nothing against the deck. We'd love one more card to bring in in the sideboard, but there isn't uh, because we'd love to cut the fourth Force of Will. But keeping one in is totally fine. Uh, definitely does more than Pithy Needle. And so Sowie Sideboard against Death Shadow. The seventh most popular deck in Legacy is Mono Red Prison. Against Mono Red Prison, we're bringing in Force of Negations to stop the prison these things from happening. We are bringing in a plague engineer if we say goblins it makes their most of their threats a lot worse and it's just kind of a cool card to have you know it's a, a reasonable threat um, means so they can't kill us we have more time to outvalue them dismembers for similar reasons you know they often try to kill just with one one dumb idiot and being able to stop that one dumb idiot means we often win and haywire might uh because there's a lot of cards that that matter that against uh modern red prison that haywire might can take out we're bringing out chalice of the void does nothing similar to the other artifact decks like eight cast and painter uh, we're bringing out Pithy Needle. I don't really care about a lot of the stuff Pithy Needle can name. We're just going to bring it out. Some Mono Red Prison decks are playing Urza Saga, or a lot of them are. Um, being able to name Urza Saga is kind of cool, but I, I just think it's cute. And we don't really want to turn off our Urza Saga. Bringing out Aether Spell Bomb. Again, the similar reasons. Bring, shaving the one Mox Opal, because one Mox Opal is fine to shave. And then we are shaving two Urza's Bobbles and the Sowie Sideboard against Mono Red Prison. The eighth most popular deck in Legacy is Lands. We are bringing in four Force Negation against Lands so that they can't do the combo-y thing against us. We are bringing in a Haywire Might. They have a bunch of artifacts we really care about. We're going to be taking out Pithy Needle. We're going to be taking out two Psy. Uh, we, we're not looking to, like, go wide and, like, two for one them and, like, you know, have more creatures than them or whatever. We don't really care about that. We're shaving the Mox Opal like we always can and then shaving Urza's Bobble like we always can. And this is how we sideboard against Lands. And then the ninth most popular deck in Legacy and the last deck we're going to talk about because we already talked about the 10th most popular deck in Teamer Delver is Death and Taxes. Against Death and Taxes, we're going to side in Plague Engineer. We're going to side in three Dismember. Oh, uh-oh. Are we crashing? I think we're crashing. But we're almost done the video, please! <laughs> I hate you, Magic Online. I actually can't tell you or how often that happens. And now it's patching. <laughs> we're on the last deck! Dismember, again, they're a creature deck. Dealing to the creatures is important. Um, and then Torpor Orb, most of the cards in their deck have entered the battlefield effects. Being able to turn that off really turns off a lot of the power of their deck. We're going to be bringing out Chalice of the Void. There's very few one-mana spells that we really care about in the deck, and they're often a Yorian deck, and so the, those few cards are even fewer and farther between. Uh, so we're bringing out Chalice of the Void, and then we're bringing out Pithy Needle. There's not a lot of things we can Pithy Needle that we really care about. So this is how I sideboard against Death and Taxes. So there you have how to sideboard with eight cast in Legacy against the top 10 most popular decks in Legacy. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social medias. Links are above me and in the description, especially on Twitch where I stream most days. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What an ordeal that was!